I just got back from my interview with Tracy that you guys now have seen because I posted the video. If not, I'll link it down below. Um, but afterwards we were just talking and she was just making some really great points that I feel like I haven't thought about necessarily and that's the sense of like Well, it all began with just like talking about intuitive eating and how sometimes it can be harder for others because their set weight, their normal weight, their typical body is just a little heavier than other people. And so like intuitive eating got me to my natural body, like what my body tends to want to be at without controlling it with any kind of fad diets. And some people's bodies are just different in that sense. And I just felt the need to make a whole new video on it. I just want to express the fact that there is no perfect body. Like there is no, I don't know, like body that you should be looking up to that like that's what I need to get to. Like you have your own weight that your body wants to be at and your own structure to your body and that's okay. And I don't even know where this whole focus on, I don't know, a size double zero, like really muscular, um, flat abs, like all that stuff, like it all, I mean, I do know where it came from. Like it came from like social media and from just the media in general portraying like this focus on this perfect body where you have to be some sort of weight and you have to be this size or you're not going to be accepted and you're not going to be liked and that is not true and I just want to get that out to you guys that no matter what weight you're at no matter what body type you are you are enough just the way you are and you can be accepted, you can be liked, you can be inspiring to other people, you can be motivational to other people, you can make an impact on other people's lives by being just who you are. So many people are trying to mold into other people and that's not what this world needs. This world needs you. This world needs you and what you have to bring to the table, what's unique about you and you know, this just hit home so much because last night was a really rough night for me. I was super upset and just crying on the phone with my sister and of course I know I can always count on her to tell me when I'm being too emotional and everything but I just need to get all these feelings out because so much of the media even makes me sometimes feel like I'm not enough, that the person I am isn't enough. and. That is the farthest thing from the truth. Like, you are enough, I am enough, and people need other people in their lives like you and me. Normal people, people that have talents in this area and that area, and instead of trying to be ourselves, so often we're caught in this wanting to be someone else game, and it's just, it's not, satisfying at all when you're constantly trying to be someone else and when you're trying to constantly do what other people are doing it's just this tiring game and it's so exhausting like it's so exhausting to try to be someone you aren't so I don't know guys like I just wanted to express my thoughts and this is just some encouragement that if you're out there and you think that you aren't good enough, that you can't be inspiring to someone else by just being who you are, that you can't help other people just being who you are, that you can't make an impact in this world by being who you are, that is so far from the truth. That is such a big lie. And so those are my thoughts right now and I hope you guys enjoyed this little spiel from Sarah Grace because I don't know, this is just an outlet where I can share my life with you, my own struggles, and help you guys out there too. So, there it is. Just remember, you are enough, just the way you are. And until next time guys, click the thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, comment your thoughts below and any questions you may have for me. Bye guys.